You've heard a lot today and you'll hear more about the absolute barbarity of Sharia law around the world. I work at United Nations in Geneva at the Human Rights Council. For the past 10 years, the Islamic states, all 57 Islamic states, have been united under the banner of the, uh, um, oh gosh, <laughs> the, the OIC, the Organization of the Islamic Conference. And they have had an agenda to sensitize the rest of the world to Islamic values and Islamic law. They have had two main weapons in that campaign. The first is to demonize freedom of expression. They have introduced resolutions in the Human Rights Council where any, any criticism of religion is considered defamation of religion and blasphemy. Any criticism of Islam is deemed to be Islamophobia and has been equated with racism. Now, this year, they are taking a new step forward. They have succeeded so far because they have had the support not only of the Islamic states, but of the so-called non-aligned movement. Countries including Russia, China, and even India, countries who themselves are suffering from Islamic extremism. But for economic and political reasons, those countries have sided with the Islamic states in the UN. Ladies and gentlemen, the UN is now controlled by the Islamic states. You are going to see this year a new resolution to introduce an internationally binding law on all countries to outlaw blasphemy. You will no longer be allowed to criticize religion. This is happening today in the UN. We must fight this agenda worldwide. You are doing a great job here. But we have to fight this in the UN, in the European Union, across the world. You have our full support. Thank you.